from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we are continuing to monitor this winter weather advisory that's in effect for all of the areas that you see highlighted on this screen. Now that we that started at around 7 o'clock this evening and that lingers through 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And the reason for this is that we're looking at multiple types of wintry precip. Most alerting the ice potential uh, roughly about a tenth of an inch widespread across uh, the areas that you saw highlighted, but some of those areas will pick up to a quarter of an inch of ice and that's concerning uh, because anytime you get that much ice, you can start to be concerned about trees, uh, power lines, and then of course all of these roadways and surfaces uh, become very slippery. Uh, so reasons for everyone to exude a little bit of caution. If you're heading out of the door for third shift over the next few minutes. You want to make sure that you are taking it easy. There will be some sleet as well. I'm not expecting much in the form of snow, but it should be a very minor as far as that's concerned. Models have dialed back a little bit on some of these totals for ice, but they're still up there uh, roughly about a tenth of an inch here in the city, but you can see those higher totals near the Mason Dix line and that's how we expect it to play out. But I have dialed down on the model output. Uh, I think the models are uh, not really taking into account the surfaces, uh, those road surface temperatures, and that's why I think that a quarter of an inch is going to be where we max out there. But near the city, we're talking about around a tenth of an inch. So let's be a little bit cautious. A uh, very active satellite and radar this evening. You can see that wintry precip blanketing the Mason Dixon line. You can see the showers are looking uh, to remain along and south of 95. We'll be tracking that through the one o'clock hour. And I think the closer we get to around three to four, we get a bit of a lull in precip and then a little bit more moisture trickles in and uh, some of these higher elevations. I do expect that to mix back in uh, closer to the city of Baltimore. I do expect that to be rain opportunity. And then by the time we're getting on the road heading to work, we're looking at showers moving through the city at around 8 to 9 o'clock, eventually starting to clear the area as we get closer to around 12 30 1 o'clock. I do have a rain as the primary form of precip for the morning drive just because the, that warm front is going to push through the area and the temperatures are actually going to start warming before uh, sunrise. So we'll be at the upper 37 uh, degree mark by the 8 o'clock hour and 9 o'clock near 40 and then we're rapidly climbing into the lower 50s. Uh, that rain chance decreases around 12 o'clock. Folks heading out to the Battle of the Bands. I think if you're heading out early, have the umbrella, but by around one to two, I think we're drying out and the numbers are pretty comfortable. Agreeable, even as we head into the evening, if you're heading out to Ram, Ram's Head Live, uh, another one of those concerts, uh, Rakim and DJ Jazzy Jeff hitting the stage at nine o'clock, upper 30s, light coat, all you're going to need. And chilly numbers filter in for your Saturday. I do expect the short wave to pass to the south of us, but I'm keeping us dry here in the state of Maryland with plenty of sunshine, just winds out of the northwest. Going to really add that element of chill here. We're near freezing by the 10 o'clock hour. We're heading out to see the championship game. We're heading into the lower 40s for the afternoon and then cooling. Thankfully, the winds shift just in time for Sunday and we're back in that above average territory warming into the lower 50s. The seesaw continues. We dip on Monday. We jump on Tuesday and we hang out in the mid 50s through Wednesday and Thursday.